Now, let's take a minute out of our lovely sunny day, sunny, sunny day, to have a look around the gardens here because the gardens here are beautiful. This is Claire Trenchard's property. Um, and yeah, she's allowed us to go in the garden and have a look around. So let's go check out some of the work that we've cast. So we've got these pieces in here, which are absolutely stunning. The trapeze hairs. And these are, I think, bronze resin. And as you can see, they're on this steel structure to make it look like they're on a unicycle and they're juggling. But these are beautiful. An old, rustic, traditional um, verdigris patina. But uh, yeah, they're stunning. Accent the garden really well. And um, I think the perfect place for them, really. how cool this hawk is. Eagle, I mean, the wingspan on it, it's just so large. But again, we've got the lovely dark patina, the verdigris going on there. It looks like it's been there for years. Um, the really loose texture, Claire's um, traditional trademark, the loose texture. Originally, um, I would imagine sculpted in plaster and you would have had a steel armature running through this uh, and then a, a, you know, plaster applied on top, plaster and scrim, but ultimately it's given a really lovely finish. And then when trans, um, translated into bronze, it just gives it a whole new effect. And I think this is a really lovely piece, really striking piece and situated in the perfect position opposite the house. Look out the window or the door, you can see the eagle there. Um, and lovely, just this lovely wild garden. This whole place is stunning. This whole place is a beautiful, beautiful, well-crafted garden. Um, and uh, yeah, absolute brilliant piece. Oh yeah, the Sunday Times. I hear that's a good, uh, a good newspaper. Normally, what we normally do in the industry is either like a bronze resin, if you wanted to go like a cheap alternative or a more affordable alternative to bronze. But this looks to me as if it's an iron resin because they have gone this beautiful rusty patina. And um, the three of them here prancing through the grass down the path, situated in the perfect place, I think. Um, but yeah, the lovely rusty patina really sets off all the modeling. And you've got these lovely oranges, greens, yellows, reds, browns, all of it's going on in there. And um, yeah, all in all, brilliant pieces. So this is actually really interesting because we are currently in the foundry at the moment. We are casting the bronze versions of these. There's normally a third one, symbols. Holding some symbols, I'll replicate it. So it's like this. So he stood up like this, he's doing that with some symbols in his hands. Basically, you've got the flute player, the banjo player, and then the minstrel. So we are casting each one of these, plus actually the one that sat up on that bench up there, the sitting one reading the newspaper. Um, but yeah, we are doing the bronze versions. They're gonna go a lovely dark traditional bronze. Um, and then I think her customer has them sort of in between a row of trees. So it looks like they're prancing around the garden playing musical instruments, which I think is really cool. So and we're gonna get back to the foundry and uh, get them finished. So hopefully mid June they can get installed um, and everyone's happy. Everyone's a winner. Yeah.